U.S. election 2024. Trump only paved the way for Letitia James to pursue his wealth. In a daring move, Trump went on Truth Social and boasted about his wealth as the deadline for posting a $464 million bond in his civil fraud disgorgement trial loss drew closer. I intended to use a substantial amount of my currently having almost $500 million in cash in my campaign for president, writes former President Donald Trump in the essay, reflecting on his success through hard work, talent, and luck, according to veteran federal prosecutor Ryan Goodman. New York attorney Letitia James may be able to take use of this newfound knowledge that he currently possesses physical cash. During an appearance on CNN's Out Front, he stated, if it's all true that also means he is sitting on North R $400 million and that's exactly what the attorney general can go after these properties. The liquid assets are easier to seize than these properties, and doing so also avoids some of the optics that come with seizing the properties. Point one important thing to remember is that she has the power to seize monies. That's within her capabilities to do, he remarked. If Trump does not deposit the full amount of bond by the deadline, James, who filed the lawsuit, will be able to confiscate any of his bank accounts or real estate. The 45th president's attorneys have acknowledged in a court document that their client has not been successful in obtaining a bond, and they are currently appealing the judgment, strolling out along a row of yellow barricades. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken emerged from his armored vehicle as a security man pried open the door. We're working to get them home, he proclaimed, firmly grasping the hands of Israeli protesters in Tel Aviv who were demanding an agreement to free the hostages held by Hamas. Even though it wasn't completely unplanned, the occasion was nevertheless shocking. By this point, the street was bustling with security personnel preparing his approach to the demonstrators. Members of the traveling press were informed that the encounter will take place approximately 20 minutes before it began. There was video evidence of it. In a stern message to the Israeli people and Prime Minister, the United States was actively working to broker a truce in exchange for the release of Israeli hostages. Over the past week, Mr. Blinken has been working to demonstrate this and another point to the international community, that the United States can persuade Israel to end the suffering of Palestinian people by influxing more supplies into Gaza and ensuring the future of the area. However, the boundaries of American power are becoming more apparent as the crisis progresses. Prior to the scene seen at the barricades, the United States had attempted to influence its allies' behavior through a vote in the United Nations Security Council. The increasing frustration of President Joe Biden was evident in this. In light of UN concerns of impending starvation in Gaza, the American drafted document urged Israel to pour additional aid into the territory. It gave its stamp of approval to the present Qatar mediated negotiations to secure a truce in exchange for the release of hostages by Hamas. It did, however, caution Israel against attacking Rafah, which is home to almost 1.4 million displaced Palestinians on the grounds that doing so might be a violation of international humanitarian law. It was not successful. Russia and China both exercised their vetoes. At Friday afternoon's Ben Gurion Airport speech, Mr. Blinken scolded the vote-downers. He cautioned that Israel might lose international backing if it launched an offensive in Rafah and hinted that their motivations were unrelated to the matter at hand. It could lead to the loss of even more innocent lives because much more problems with aid delivery severely isolate Israel internationally and threaten its future security and reputation, he said. As tensions between the U.S. and Israel's leader continue to rise, Netanyahu retaliated against Mr. Blinken's evaluation. The prime minister expressed his hope that the United States would assist their efforts, but he also said that they would go it alone if necessary. Despite all the strain, this powerhouse was being held back.